Hello everybody, what's going on? I am Fish Food from Cups and Buffs, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2. The last episode, we donned the Assassin's robes and watched our family get executed, which was really sad. It kind of sucks. But now we need to go visit Leonardo da Vinci in order to get our weapon repaired. Uh, for those of you who have played the Assassin's Creed franchise, you know which weapon we're talking about. It's the Hidden Blades, the most iconic weapon in all of Assassin's Creed history. I, I didn't expect to see you again. What with all that's happened? Ah, where are my manners? Welcome back. Well, thank you. Now, how can I be of service? I was hoping you could repair something of mine. Of course. Come, this way. Che pasticcio. Tutto santo giorno che c'è. Let me clear a space. All right, let's see it. Fascinating. I don't know, Ezio. Despite its age, the construction is rather advanced. I've never seen anything quite like it. I'm afraid there's not much I can do without the original plans. Mi dispiace. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? You didn't see that right there. The contents of this page are encrypted, but if my theory is correct, based on these sketches, it may very well. It may very well what? Please, sit. Leonardo, I... Transpose the letters and then select every third. He was a genius for sure. There, it's finished. Yay. Huh? What's finished? The blade. I managed to decode that parchment of yours. It showed me exactly what to do. Now all that's left is to remove your ring finger. Really? I'm sorry, but this is how it must be done. The blade is designed to ensure the commitment of whoever wields it. Bene. Do it quickly. <laughs> I was only having fun, Ezio. Though the blade once required a sacrifice, it's been modified. You can keep your finger. Wow, thanks for that fake out. Incredible. Yes, it is. Tell me, do you have other pages like this? I'm sorry, only the one. Listen, if you ever do happen across another one of these, please. Bring it to me. I don't remember you if you actually have word. to collect the codex page. Thank you for fixing this. I feel like you By do. order of the Florentine guard, open this door! Uh -oh. uh, just a moment. We're in trouble. Wait here. Are you Leonardo da Vinci? Si. How may I be of service? I need you to answer some questions. Certainly. What seems to be the trouble? A witness claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. What? Is that right? Consorting? Preposterous. When was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? Who? Non fare il finto tonto! We know you were close with the family. Perhaps this will help to clear your head. Oh. Oh no, he's kicking me. Ready oh, no. to talk? What about now? I should be able to just assassinate him. There you go. Just like that. First kill with the hidden blade. Can I loot him? No, I can't even do anything. You're welcome. Sorry about that. Uh, I've grown accustomed to their abuses. That's terrible. What of the body? Bring it inside and put it with the others. Others? <laughs> the city gives them to me for research. Uh, I can't. Oh, dang. I can't just loot him. That's all right. Don't mind us, we're just carrying a dead body. It's just with the others, but I don't see any other bodies. Well, here you go. See? Like it never happened. Yeah, Thank totally. you, Leonardo. For everything. What if he has a family, though? Anytime. And remember, if you find more of those strange pages, bring them to me. Should they contain new designs, I will upgrade your blade as well. Of course. Now, I really should be getting back to Paola. Porgile i miei omaggi. Oh, 
cool. So we now have a hidden blade. Hidden blade is really handy, especially when you're trying to kill things quietly, obviously. Uh, where are we going? We're going to the next place. Uh, one of these games you actually get two blades. I can't remember if it's this one. I know for a fact you get one in Brotherhood. And you definitely have two blades in uh, four. So, oh my gosh, we're going to get detected. <laughs> yeah, we are going to be, yep, there we go. We have to run. I don't know what that was. I gotta find a rooftop. Wait, there's a place I can just free run right here. Oh, I wasn't pressing X. Should have been doing that. Hello, just just let go. Let's use our new blending technique that we learned last episode. Oh, and there's a chest. Well, as soon as you guys are stop stop looking for me. Hello. That's the only bad part about the game. Sometimes it takes forever to become anonymous once again. Or incognito, I think is what they call it in this one. Ooh, almost 300 florins. Nice. Ah, oh, dang it. I was trying to use my hidden blades, but I didn't have any equip. I'm going somewhere. You just can't catch me. You're not fast enough. Alright, well, once we lose these guys, we can <laughs> proceed. I was not actually intending to uh, not kill them. I forgot you actually have to select your blades every time. So we're going to play hide and seek again. It is this, that guy, though, so I could probably just kill him. Alright. Let's go accept our mission. Um, let's see. There's that guard there. I don't know if he'll see me though. Okay, yeah. We'll be alright. Hello. It's you coming. You were gone for quite a while. Leonardo likes to talk. That he does. But I trust he did more than talk. Impressive. I'm rather fond of it myself. I've given you the skills. Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of the Rocchio's latest work. It will be held at the Santa Croce cloister. Watch over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own. That's sweet. Alrighty. Time to go assassinate Umberto. Okay, so we need to go find him. We are also still notorious, which means we're going to cr uh, collect a lot of guard attention by doing just random stuff. So we need to stick to the rooftops, most likely. Uh, let's go this way. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, there's always a way to get to your target from the roofs most of the time. Uh, not always. Uh oh, oh no. There we go. That is how you avoid detection. By just killing somebody. Ooh, can I loot him? Yes, I can. Why not give me very much? Three? Are you kidding me? Alright. Well, no use crying over it. Can we go this way? Oh, there's feathers. Um, where am I supposed to be going here? Is it just up here? Oh, I thought there was a a glyph. I'll collect the glyphs later. I'm not worried about it right now. And with this, you have overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You, who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least now, we see how far your reach extends. Which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes, your allies, the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. 
You might have tracked the wrong sort of attention. Oh boy, big guy guarding the area. Follow. Oh, it's a tailing mission. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, how convenient. There's a group right here. It doesn't let me highlight my targets in gold. That's unfortunate. Let's walk faster. Oh, gosh. Didn't mean to steal. Yeah, tailing missions are boring. There's really not much to do. Just following people. I've got to get in there, but I don't know how. I forget. So I can't just kill those guys. You have no reason to be here. Go. You are correct. Oh, hey, come this way. I forgot you can just hire these guys. Girls. Oh, no, no. Are you, really? You're kidding me here. Oh. No, we're good. We're fine. Let's blend real quick. And then we head in here. Alright, where is this guy? Hmm. I trust you're enjoying yourselves. Indeed, a nice distraction from that nasty business with the auditorator. And to think I once thought of Giovanni as my brother. Yeah, I bet you did. Don't blame yourself. How could you have known what he was I say we strike that traitor's name from the record book. Let history forget he ever even existed. Hmm. Yes, I sh if you'll excuse me for a moment. Well, the tip's glitch there for a second. Alright, I'm gonna try to move and get into this group right here. Uberto, a moment of your time? Anything for me. <laughs> she just snorted. That's funny. How does it feel to be a hero? He is not a hero. He's a murderer. I am no such thing. You're correct. As Gonfalonier, it is my duty to ensure that the city of Firenze remains a shining beacon of justice. Corruption and its ill shall find no purchase here so long as I am in control. You are a treasure, Roberto. I hope Lorenzo recognizes that. Yes. Our great leader, Lorenzo. I love how he can't see me, even though I'm literally right here. I'm just and clearly in the same clothing I was in whenever he killed my family. But he's none the wiser. Am I supposed to kill him or just follow him? Ah, Uberto, there you are. I was just telling the others about the execution. You! Oh yeah, I am supposed to assassinate him. Okay, I wasted my time there. That's alright. Look at all that fury that he's just releasing. I, I can't say I blame him. You know. I'd be you pretty upset too. The same. To save the ones you love. Yes, I would. And I have. Alright, now we have to book it. The auditorium are not dead. I'm still here. Me. Ezio. Ezio Auditore. All right, let's go. <laughs> Come on. Run. Thank you. See, the term assassin is very commonplace, apparently. They know exactly what happened. So, it's proof that everybody knows about the assassins, except for Ezio. He has no idea what he is. <laughs> he just knows that he just uh, took care of somebody who caused a problem for him earlier. Oh, there's a waypoint. I wonder if I can use that to escape. Because usually I'm high enough I can uh, be undetectable. Yeah, the Assassins and the Templars have been at war at this point, I think, a few hundred years, maybe longer. I don't really know where... Well, no, because technically with uh, Origins, all of it starts. There's just the Hidden Ones in the Order of Ancients, and that starts at, like, uh, 40 BC, something like that. And so at this point, it's been, like, 1,500 or so years. So it's probably, you know, a known fact that maybe they exist... Oh, cool, I escaped. Cool. So we have killed the killer of our family, and now we need to proceed. Oh, I got a letter. I could read it. I don't know if I want to. 
Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I, I kind of want to now. Oh gosh, I've got to escape. That's more important. Please. All right. So there's not really a whole lot to talk about while I'm running. I'm just, you know, I could commentate that I'm running into people, but I just feel like that'd be a little bit too forced. Oh my gosh, am I gonna get captured again? I need to find rooftops. Especially while I'm still dealing with this whole notoriety thing. Oh man, I'm gonna... There's a guy right there that's probably gonna see me. No, maybe not. Cool. Oh, Paola. Best I leave Firenze. Where will you go? My uncle Mario owns a villa near Monteregioni. You're still a wanted man, Ezio. What would you have me do then? I've seen posters all across the district. Tearing them down will help the city forget your face. No doubt the heralds also incite the public, bribe them, and they'll speak of other things. Or you could hunt those who bear false witness against you. They traded dignity for coin. Their loss would not be mourned. Do any of these things, and you should be free to leave. Alright, so now we get to learn how to uh, reduce notoriety. Okay, so there are these little icons all over the map. There's posters, there's the white eyeball things. This will help you know if you should watch your actions. It'll also tell you if the notoriety level is part of Ezio's memory or not. Yeah, because there are certain sequences in which uh, I got too, uh, too notorious and therefore uh, things won't work. Oh yeah, you can Oh, that was easy. So just kill the, the other guys and then you're no longer... Incognito. So I'm pretty sure if I walk up to this guard right here, yeah, they now don't think that I'm a wanted man. All I did was tear down one poster and just kill one courier looking thing. <laughs> Game logic. Uh, is the house? Oh, there it is. Not twice, as always. Bentornato, Ezio. Were you successful? And quick. Yes. Madre? Ezio, where have you been? They wouldn't let us leave, and Mother, oh, she hasn't spoken a single word since we left the house. Father will need to sort things out. Where is Father? And Federico? Oh, they don't know. And Bertuccio. Oh, that's so sad. Hmm? Something's happened. What do you mean? No, it's impossible. Claudia. No, 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 no. I did everything I could, Piccina. That is really this, sad. Right now what matters is getting us all someplace safe. But to do that, I need you to stay focused. Do you understand? Good. Will you watch over mother for me? Then we are ready. Thank you again for everything. Stay safe, Ezio. Stay vigilant. I suspect the road ahead is yet long. All right, time to leave for, uh, Firenze Follow and me. go to Mer Merigi. Yeah, that place, Florence. That's where I'm at. Not Firenze, Florence. And go to Montegirioni. I'm not uh, an Italian-speaking person. I don't know words. Why are you singing? That's a really strange song. Oh, I can throw money. Uh, do I need to? Oh, yeah, because I have to get over here. So let's uh, put some money over here. And we might be able to go over here. Cool. On me. 
It's kind of a stealth mission, but kind of not, I guess. Not really sure how to else to explain it. But yeah, we need to just basically escort these people. Oh, there's a viewpoint. I I don't have time for it, unfortunately. I don't know really know why you need to attract guards. Oh, this guy. The bards are Let's like go. the worst part of this whole game because they're just... Oh, this is why. So we throw money here. And then guards should be... Yeah, because they, sh they should start a fight. Perfect. This way. They make us walk the whole way. I thought we just had to walk outside of the city, and then there was a carriage waiting for us. That's what I expected. Stay close. How could this have happened to us? How fast can I you guys run? Hopefully, very fast. Will we ever be back? I don't know. Let's say this is what happens when you become an assassin. Polly. What will happen to our house? I don't know. <laughs> Were they? Were they given a proper burial? Yes, they were. Well, that's good, at least. He didn't answer, I don't know, to the last question. And I suppose that's the trophy for finishing this memory sequence. Are we about to go... Back to the Animus? Or, not back to the Animus. Back to the Assassin Headquarters, present day? Looks like it. I was wrong last time. Look at those boots, though. Also, they don't really explain, but uh, I was reading along the Assassin's Timeline, and the ex execution of the Auditory family happened on December 31st of uh, whatever year that was. And then, so the next day was the next year. That's why there was a year gap, it looked like. Okay, so we're not going back to present day. Maybe it's, maybe it's after Sequence 3. Again, I haven't played this in forever. Look at all these buildings, though. Like, the design team did a very good job making it feel like it's actually a place where people would have lived. It shows the Animus basically reconstructing everything in Ezio's memory so that you can see it. We should be close. Grazie, Dio. Uh, I can't move. Oh, well, we're still this way. in the same mission. We have to run the whole way. Horses exist in this universe, you know that, right? Buongiorno, oh, yay. Ezio. How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. Oh, and yes, your life. Yeah, but are you going to fight me one-on-one? -on -one? Probably not. I don't have a weapon, do I? What will happen now that there's no one left to help you? I have such wonderful things in store for your mother Hey, you are not... Oh, I mean, that hidden blade is actually pretty powerful. I grow tired of this game. Finish him and do not spare the women. How horrible. Oh. What sorcery is this? <laughs> <laughs> Not so. Yes, I remember this. Skill. Show yourself as you wish. Here, use this. Kill them! Kill them all! Is he wearing the Assassin's Crest too? I never noticed that before. Yeah. I'm actually decent at combat now because I have a sword. Always attack somebody who's already engaged with somebody. It's much easier to kill them. <laughs> Bam. Look at that. Oh, I just attacked the wrong guy. There we go. Cool. He is wearing the Assassin's Crest. You have my thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's a me, Mario. 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 It's been too long, Nipote. Far too long. 
fun fact, the guy who voices uh, Ed Steele also voices Sonic the Hedgehog, and so Sonic now has an Uncle Mario. A little something for people to think about. <laughs> All right. Well, we have made it to Montegironi. Montegironi? How are the heck you're supposed to say it? <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you guys very much for watching. Before you guys clock out, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and even hit that little bell icon to get a little bit of cuffs and bows over time. But for now, me and Ezio will see you guys next shift.